whoa, hey, <laughs> looks like you're pretty eager to build the Metal Earth Premium Series Titanic. Uh, judging solely based on how strongly you pressed our thumbnail there, uh, don't worry, I'm actually a huge fan of the Titanic, and I've actually ate on that very deck right there a few times. Actually, the last trip I took there was with an astromech, and he almost got me stuck there before things went down. But that's a bit of a long story in, in, in the past, and as time travelers, we don't like to get stuck in the past too much. It's a dangerous thing. But getting back to the Titanic here, if you're looking to build this, you're in the right place, because in this episode, we're going to be building the entire first page. We're going to be showing you how to build all the little bits of detail here and how to put everything together. Now, I haven't built this before, so before we set off on our journey through time, we need to come up with a good tool set to kind of prepare us for this journey. I have a basic set of tools here that I've set up just based on the picture here on the front. Starting off with our trusty nippers. These guys right here are great for getting our pieces out of our metal, and it's very important to make sure they have a little bit of a sharp tip on them. Otherwise, you'll be left with little bits of metal left over, which is called burrs. These burrs can prevent our pieces from going together correctly and can make the whole project look a little bit lopsided. So really try to make sure that if you have any little bits of metal left over, that you clean them up with your little nippers here afterwards. Next up, we have our tweezers. Now, these are just your basic pair of tweezers you can find upstairs inside of your medicine cabinet. These are really good ones. They're nice stainless steel, strong ones. They don't tend to bend uh, when you're trying to bend other pieces of metal. It's very important to find a nice, strong pair of tweezers at home before you set off on these journeys. Otherwise, you'll be finding yourself extremely frustrated with trying to get the little bits of detail that you're going to need to be able to form. If these don't seem to be doing what you need them to do, then you might want to upgrade to a detailed tweezer set. These ones are really cool because they come with a whack of different tweezers that we can use to be able to form our pieces with, including these little guys here, which are offset. They're great for getting little tiny rim pieces or trying to get little circles. We'll go over that a little bit later in the video if we run into that detail. Next up, for shapes like our stack details here, we want to use something like a hand mandrill. Now, these tools are very useful because they have different sizes here that we can wrap the metal around to get a really nice shaping. Other tools that you can find in toolkits online look like this. These guys are nice, but they are a little bit small for this project. You can still get the shaping. You just got to know how to use the tool. Again, we can go over that during the video here a little bit later. One of my favorite things to use is this set right here. Now, this is a dapping set, and this set actually has multiple different uses when it comes to the metal model hobby. It can be very useful for getting different kinds of cone shapes or different kinds of cylindrical details, but in this case here, it's really useful for wrapping the little stack details around, especially with the different sizes. You always want to start big and then work your way down to the proper size. This way, all the metal gets bent and it goes together really well. I'll remind you about that multiple times throughout the build. Then finally, we want to look at something like this. These are our pliers. These are great for either grabbing details on the inside of our model or getting something a little bit straight after we've kind of warped it by accident, or if we want to be able to grab a big piece and bend it all at once. These are great, but you need to be careful to make sure that the little edges on the inside here are completely smooth. Otherwise, you run the risk of either scratching the paint on our model or possibly uh, making these really weird impressions in the metal and you can't really get them out. So word of warning when using these, they're great, just uh, be careful. All right, I think that pretty much covers up our recommended tools here. Now, again, you really only need nippers and tweezers to get the job done, but these guys right here are my recommendations just based on the picture here alone. All right, Groovers, let's get building. And boom, there we have it. All of our pieces needed for the first four pages of the RMS Titanic from Metal Earth. We start off with number one here, and that is our stack. Now, like we've done multiple times before when it comes to bending cylindrical pieces like this, we're actually gonna take our uh, dapping set and we're gonna use it to help us get a really nice shaping. Now I'm trying to do this the best I possibly can, wrapping it around. And if I really want to, I can get here on my table 
and really press into it. But you don't want to bend this little piece here. So just be careful with that. There we go. Looks like every piece of our metal's bent. Now we can go to a smaller size. Let's use our step mandrel here. Because that way we can get smaller and smaller. And we're just gonna move the piece like this. Flip it around, same thing. Okay. And that's pretty good. Now before we get to closing this, we're actually gonna put some other details in place. One detail here goes on the front and the other one covers up the tabs on the back. The reason why we don't attach this first and then shape the piece is it would actually misshape this guy here quite a bit with that little front bit on. So we always do this to the instructions and we need to do this part second in order to get the right shaping. I'm gonna use the side of my tweezers here as a small break. There we go. Get over here, same thing again. Take my tweezers, get right down to the bottom there. And there we go. This little T right here is gonna go at the top. There we go. Make that kind of straight there. Flip this over and now we can see those tabs. Now, the way that I'm gonna secure these tabs is with my tab bending tool. This little pencil here makes life a lot easier when you're reaching into pieces like this. We're gonna give two little twists and there we go. Nice little bit of detail. Now we need to secure the back here. It's gonna kind of press like this just a little bit. I know that this is kind of too small. So what I'm doing is just kind of getting a nice shaping. And you can see what I mean by how that inside there gets in the way. Now we're gonna make locking mechanisms out of these tabs. So we're gonna bend them down and back just a little bit like this. And now we insert them into the tab holes here. A little bit of paint flying, but that's okay. Now I'm not a big fan of how this is currently shaped, so we're gonna figure that out in a moment, because that is not a cylinder. That is like a uh, triangle of some kind. Kind of wish I had a set here that was the right size, but it seems like everything is just not correct. Oh, here we go. Maybe this, uh, maybe this piece right here. There we go. Definitely better than what it was, that's for sure. Okay, now that we have this, we can attach the back piece of detail. Just like the other piece, we wanna make sure we're grabbing the sides right to the edge, right where that little dot line is, and then we're gonna bend that down. There we go. And if we use the side of our tweezers, it creates a really nice bend. Like, look at that, very nice. Very, very nice, okay. Forgot to fold that little box there on top. There we go. Okay. Now we can grab these guys here. There we go, alrighty. Now we just need to close this little top pit up. Let me see here. Push into place. Bend these guys down. Nice and flat. There we go. Our first stack complete, and it looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Now we need to do three more of these, so let's go ahead and fast forward to where I already have these done.
There we go. All right. Now I'm just finishing up the smokestack. And there we go. Our final smokestack all complete. Now we get to move on to the upper deck, which is step five. And the first thing we're doing with this one here is forming a lifeboat. Yeah, lifeboats. Now lifeboats are a little bit different in comparison to other 3D metal models that we've built in the past. These ones here get bent down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our side here and we're gonna bend it down just like this. There we go. And now we're gonna follow the edge. And this is actually kind of bent inward just a little bit. And don't worry my life friends, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Excuse me for the shakiness. Like I got way too much coffee in me here. Hmm. These rims are a little thinner. There we go. Excellent. Now with our lifeboat complete, we can move on to the upper deck portion here. And this is where we get to make some seriously big bends. I mean, look at this piece. This is a nice chunky bed here. Now the first thing we're gonna do with this is actually, hmm. You know what, instead of actually bending the sides down, I think it's best for us actually to attach all the detail on top first, then actually bend our sides down. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we're gonna take our little lifeboat that we just made here, and we're gonna orientate this to the instructions. Take a little lifeboat, and we're gonna to get to the side here. There's only one place for it to go. One tab in, two tabs in. Push her all the way through, really nice. Now we're gonna use our tab bending tool here. And we're gonna twist, and we're gonna twist this other one here as well. There we go. Two twists, and we got our lifeboat in place. I accidentally slightly bent that forward, but there we go. Lifeboat nicely attached. The next piece we're gonna be working on is a slightly bent piece here. It looks like a little bit of a square, okay? What we're gonna do is, hmm. We're gonna bend down one side here, and we can see with one side bent, exactly how much we need to bend the middle here. There we go. Actually, I don't really even need to use a tweezer here. I could just use my uh, my hands. Bend down the other side. Very good. And now we're gonna match the borders here. When it comes to rectangles, these are easy. I am shaking so much. My goodness. All right, there we go. There's our uh, piece there completely formed. Looking pretty good. And again, we're gonna attach this right on to our bigger piece. There we go. Second bit of detail on our piece there. And that looks actually pretty good. I like where it's attached. I want a little bit less of a border though, so I might have to go back in there and play with that a little bit, but overall not bad. The next piece is going to be our little vents. Now these vents, I've already made two of them here, but they look a little bit different. There's a lot of uh, bending and shaping that we need to do here, so let's go ahead and just take that. I'm gonna bend one side down, and then I'm going to use the middle here and just kind of use the one side as a guide to know exactly how much I need to bend. And there we go, the center here, bend the center. And now we're gonna try to get these tabs in place, which is actually kind of hard to do. I might have to bring this to my face here to, to be able to get it in place, to be honest with you. Yeah, all right, let's bring it up. So on camera, we're gonna take a second here. Whoop push this in. There we go. A smokestack all complete. That is interesting. And once you do one, it's kind of easy to do all three. There we go. Once we have them all done, we can now place them onto our piece. And it's important that we make sure we're placing them onto the right part. Let's take a look here. All right. And they also need to be facing the right direction. So this little piece right here is going to be marked as the front for right now. And we're going to have these guys all going this way. So we're gonna take our little air vents here and we're gonna have them facing towards the rear. Okay, push this in a little bit. There we go.
Excellent. Our first one's on. Now that we got that first piece in here, we're gonna go ahead and secure this, making sure that we keep the tabs out of the way of other insertion holes that we're gonna need later. Our first little vent there in place. And grab our second one. Silly goose, smokestack. There we go. Make sure she's straight. And again, grabbing our tab bending tool. Really nice securements. And there we go. Our second piece is on. Looking great there. Cool. There we go. All of our vents are in place. That looks great. Now we get to put on some more detail here. And this piece is going to be very similar to the other ones we've bent already. This guy here, we're going to again bend one side down here. And then we're going to use that side to kind of help us know how much we need to bend the center. So we're going to start here right at that little edge and then we're just going to slightly bend the piece as we go make sure i'm good on camera here good there we go then once we get down to this lower level again we're going to open this up again and we're just going to make sure that our tabs get into the right place Close that tab up and there's our vent. Okay, and I like that vent. It's actually not bad at all. We're actually gonna get this other tab here and just push it down a little bit more to get down as much as I want. That's not bad. And now that we got this vent, we're gonna go ahead and place it onto our main piece here, which looks like this. Okay, so our main piece and we're gonna just put these together. Oh, shoot a monkey. We actually did something wrong. Okay, so um, if you take a look at this right here, all these guys are facing the right way. Uh, well, the same way. This one here is actually supposed to be facing the opposite direction. So I'm gonna have to undo this guy here and fix that real quickly. See, very quick fix there, not a big deal. And we can twist these guys back into place now. This metal is pretty forgiving. However, if you do bend it the wrong way a couple of times, you will uh, unfortunately not be able to get the part in place. However, the company here that actually makes these is a very good company when it comes to their warranties and they will replace any of the uh, parts that get broken when you're building these. So if you're looking at building one of these and you're a little bit nervous, note that uh, they'll help you complete it. They'll, they'll help you out, they're really good. Okay, so one thing I will say is that when it comes to attaching pieces like this and especially detailed pieces, you have to make sure when they're right next door to each other, always attach the tab that's the closest to the detail first. This way you can actually get things in. Uh, I find if you try to get that tab last, it's really hard to get it in. There we go. And now we have all of our tabs attached and we got our little bit of detail in the right place. This is looking pretty good. I like this so far. Again, we haven't done our little center details here yet, but we're going to do that soon. And again, the next thing we're doing is another vent. Now we've already bent one of these guys. This is what it looks like when it's complete. The next one that we're gonna be doing here is the same thing, just uh, I haven't done it yet. So this is what it looks like. And just like before, we're gonna take one side here, bend it down, and then we're gonna use the center um, and bend it to the side. And the reason why we're doing that is because the side kind of gives us an idea of how much we need to bend this piece. Then the black part gets bent down almost 90 degrees. And once you think you have the right shaping, you bring back that little uh, half that you bent down to get the idea of the right shape. And then you bring the tab in place. And if everything goes right, you should be able to put everything right in place. And I think this one here is almost on the money. It is, look at that, beautiful. We got a perfect attachment there on the first go. And I always like that when that happens. That means we did a pretty good shaping because all of these are designed by a computer. And um, if you shape everything exactly like it's supposed to be, everything does fit together really well. But uh, of course, that it depends on your skill level of how much you can shape. And using tweezers like this can be a little bit tricky. All right, let's grab this other side here and bend this down. I do have multiple methods of being able to secure our uh, tabs here. We have a tab bending tool, uh, which is pretty cool. And we also have our tweezers here, which I use quite often. There we go. Our little piece of uh, vent is complete. Now we can put this onto our main body here. And I think we're getting ready to actually shape this guy. These guys face the opposite direction of the previous one. Again, we're putting the tab closest to the other detail in first. Then we're going to place the other one in concentration faces we got that in there now we can go ahead and secure this of course grabbing the tab again closest to the other ones first 
Did I even twist you? You twisted so easily. Is that the right way? Yes, it is. Awesome. We should have double checked that before we actually secured it, but you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, and then there we go. Last one here again. Same thing as before. Make sure we're going to go right onto here. If it's not good, the uh, video about the Titanic and I'm all over the place on camera, you guys will know why. And <laughs> we can laugh about it together. Turn and last one here. And there we go. <clears throat> All of our detail for step five is now attached onto our piece, which means we can go ahead and uh, get things uh, bent on the side. So now with this one, we're making some big bend decisions. Let's start with this side right here. And going blah, blah, blah. Again, going right to the edge and then just coming to the edge here and bending that down as well. Sometimes it's a good idea to overbend some of your pieces. The reason why I say this is because by overbending it, when in the metal kind of springs back a little bit, you get a little bit more forgiveness. Bend this down. There we go. Coming back to the other side here, and we're doing the same thing, bending that down. Again, with this edge here, we have a tab to get to, so we're going to have to be careful with that. There we go. That went right into place. That's exactly what we want to see. Sometimes it's a lot of, it's a better idea to grab a lot more of the piece in your tweezers than just a small part, because if you grab a uh, small part of it, the whole thing won't bend and you'll get this weird warping effect, which you don't want. So you have to kind of play the game of how much you can fit in your tweezers. That's why sometimes I put mine sideways to be able to get as much of this in as possible. There we go. We like to have a really nice straight edge. And there we go, all complete. Now we get to move on to our next part, which is involving a whole bunch of lifeboats. As you can see here, I've already shaped all these lifeboats, or at least the first part of them. Let's go ahead and grab one right here. And just like before, we're gonna start by grabbing one of our edges, bending it down slightly, and then following the edge of the other piece. Now again, or sorry, excuse me, following the edge of the upper piece. I wanna emphasize, these are actually a lot easier to bend in the previous lifeboats because they have thicker edges. There we go. One lifeboat, all complete. Pretty simple to do, as you can see. I thought that was pretty easy. But it's important to keep in mind that we do have two different sets of lifeboats. We need to keep them separate. One thing that's really interesting about this, though, is that Metal Earth has actually placed all the part numbers on the back of the pieces. So if you do accidentally misplace one or they get a little confused, just take a look at the back and you'll know exactly where you're at. Coming back here again, bending down the side, and then just shaping to the top piece. Very simple. And if you can, you want to go right to where the metal actually connects and then bend the uh, boat into place. <laughs> we have ourselves a last lifeboat. <laughs> okay, now that we got all of our lifeboats, we can actually take... Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, now that we got our lifeboats all complete, we can attach them onto our big mega piece here. Look at this guy. It's absolutely massive. Tons of space here for multiple parts to go on. I think that looks pretty cool. Now let's take these lifeboats here and attach them on. Uh, the first set of lifeboats that we bent, which are a little bit smaller than the other set, uh, these guys here are going to be attached onto the front. Let's make sure we have the proper orientation of our piece here so I don't accidentally put the wrong lifeboats in the wrong place. Mm. Okay, actually what happens here is the first set that we actually did goes on this side here and the second set goes on the other side. And again, I'm filming this for multiple purposes, so we're dancing back and forth here. Let's take this. Make sure I'm on the uh, other camera here. All right, there we go. First lifeboat in place. A little bit of a twist. There we go. Next one. We're going to go down the side here, and then once we get this side done, we'll go to the other side.
two lifeboats in place. And just like that, we have our last lifeboat all connected. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. Okay, now we need to add on the other details here, which involve some interesting squares and circles uh, or some weird pyramid stuff. Let's take a look at that together. The first piece here is kind of a weird little square triangly thing we're gonna do. So let's get this up here. Just like before, we're gonna start with one side and then we're gonna bend this guy slightly out like this, I believe. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna bend this down here. The top piece is just a box. The bottom part is where everything kind of matches off and you can use the sides here to kind of match up those triangles. Sometimes when I'm doing these tutorials, what I'll do is I'll just speak and then I'll keep some stuff in and then mute other things because I sound like a silly goose when I'm trying to describe some of these pieces. And it only works if you're building these models, some of the descriptions only works. Make that a little bit better. We like sharp edges, sharp edges. There we go. Our little pyramid there. Okay, we're a little bit blurry on the main screen. So let's go over here. Okay, and we're gonna bend that up like that. There we go. Our pyramid all complete. Doesn't that look cool? I think it does. Okay, so let's take this little pyramid and put it down for right now. And we'll move on to our next piece here, which is very similarly bent. Bend down a side, and then we're gonna take our triangle piece and bend it down. Come over to the other side, triangle piece, bend it down. Awesome. That looks great. Another small little pyramid there. Now we can put that down there as well, and we can work on these bigger pieces where actually some of this gets attached. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually attach the detail that needs to go on here first. I don't like the word that I, I don't like the way I'm saying that though. That's not a, not a fun way of saying it, but whatever. One side, two side. Checking out my main camera there. Sometimes the main camera gets a little blurry, so you gotta be careful about that. There we go. Bend down our edges. Just like this. Excellent. That looks great. Okay, put that down for a moment. Grab the other one here. And we did a great job of forming that one because it went right in place, no problem at all. Now we're gonna grab the sides here and just bend down the sides, making sure that we do our best that we possibly can to keep everything as uniform as possible. And like I said before, sometimes you're tempted to grab a big piece of metal and just do one big bend. Don't do that. I really truly recommend doing multiple or at least one big bend on the side using maybe the size of your tweezers right here. That makes things so much easier and it keeps everything nice and even. Okay, with this all bent up, now we can attach this onto our main piece here. So let's do the proper orientation first. And what we're gonna do is attach the one side followed by the other. So let's start with this piece here, work our way. There we go. This back tab here is not wanting to be my friend. And again, I, I recommend switching up the way you secure them. If you're twisting some clockwise, twist some of the other ones counterclockwise. That way you get a really nice connection. There we go. Now this little box here. All right, this looks awesome. All of our top detail here, but now we need to add some more pieces on, especially with the front and some of our smokestacks. Okay, so it has us starting up with part 26 first here, which again, is just a very simple little box. go now part 27 here as well we're going to take the longer pieces here and use the side of our tweezers to get a really nice shaping i got to make sure i'm on the right camera here there we go All right, 
Now we can attach these two pieces onto our main piece here that we're working on. Let's go ahead and take this guy here and attach it on. There is probably a right way and a wrong way to attach it. There is, there's a back piece here that has nothing on it. There's a front piece on that has a little white uh, border there. That is going to be the back. So keep that in mind. I'm sorry, that front piece there is gonna, that white piece is the front. So we're gonna keep that to the front. Hmm, concentration faces. Can we get it in? Mm, yeah, we got, we got it in. Little twist, little twist. Awesome, another little piece of detail added on to our front here. And now we need this little border piece. Oh, that's awesome. It adds like a little bit of like a, kind of a level to detail, that's neat. There we go. Another little piece of detail added on, and I think that looks really good. All right. So part 28 has us taking step three, which is our smokestack that we made from earlier. And it has us putting the smokestack in place. But it says four on this one. So three goes on this one. Wow, Metal Earth, you guys did a great job of preparing people for that. That's a great one. Good job. Like seriously, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. Um, before we go and actually bend this ridiculous looking piece, we're gonna put this part on first. I don't wanna put this on the wrong way. <laughs> so I might actually have to bend this. You know what, let's just go ahead and bend this so I know the proper orientation because I'm having a hard time visualizing it. So let's just do it. Like when it's completely flat, I can see how the metal is supposed to be bent and the shape that it needs to be bent into. The problem I have is being able to orientate things in my mind uh, before they're bent. So while I can see the shape, I can't necessarily orientate the shape. If that makes any sense, I don't know. We'll see. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> now with our third smokestack, we can actually take this piece here and we can orientate it to the design. So we know it goes like this and our smokestack with the T part goes this way. So this is the proper orientation of our smokestack. That was a long way to get there, but we got there. Okay. Hmm. I am anticipating a little bit of a fight with these because uh, my smokestacks were pretty well formed, but they're always a little complicated to get in place. There we go. Now that we got the smokestack, we can just take this guy here and push down and twist. Same thing with the other ones. We're going to push down and twist. Get in there. There we go, and twist. Excellent. And we're gonna place it onto our main piece. So uh, like this, and again, what? Okay, oh, oh, this is a level one. There we go. We got her. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we did it. All right, now we can take this and we can push this in, take a turn, go to the other side here, do the same thing, do a little turn. Oh, no. I want you to be connected. There we go. And our final piece here. Awesome. Our first Smokestack is on our Titanic. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, now we get to do our next one, which is a little bit more boxes and stuff. Like we know the box is a big thing here. So let's do it again. This is why I like this model, to be totally honest with you. You know, squares and rectangles are super easy when it comes to 3D metal models. And uh, they're kind of refreshing to go into, especially if you've been building these for a little while and you get to more of the complicated ones where they have all the layered detail and circles and cylinders and things. And you're like, oh my God, this one here is relatively easy. 
There we go. Excellent. Now that we got that in place, do a twist, do a turn. You know, I, I do 3D printed projects on the side and I was trying to think of a uh, cool 3D printed project to kind of like um, show off Saturday morning cartoons. And I really don't know which one, to, how, to, how to do that. You know, like, do you do commercials? Do you do the TV shows? Because there's so many good ones out there, like, you know, uh, one Saturday morning and all that stuff. Like I could print like, you know, the numbers or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, anyway, I, I, got, I got to think of some more things, but right now that's our smokestack completed. Doesn't that look cool? Our smokestack all done there. There we go. I need to make, be careful here. I got a secondary camera. I really should pay more attention to. There we go. And now that we have this one done, we can place it on to our Titanic as well. And this one actually goes into the center of some details that we've already formed. I really should have done this first and then put this into place. It would have been way easier, but now we're kind of suffering with what we're suffering with. So let's just do it. This is gonna be complicated though. Step one. Get it into place. Step two, push down. Step three, fiddle around until it finds its spot. That's crazy, man. Wow. I really wish I would have done the other way around. That would have been so much easier. Like so, so much easier. There we go. Our Titanic is coming along. Now, the next step here is putting on some back details, which we've already kind of formed a little bit here. So we can uh, take these guys here and do it real quickly. Again, and we're doing another little box. Before we close this up, let's go ahead and attach this piece on here as well. And uh, it goes on just like this. Okay, close up our box. There's our box, looking pretty cool. And now what we're going to do is put the box on to our main piece here again. There we go. That's our piece that we just attached, looking pretty cool. Awesome. <clears throat> Again, excuse me for the, uh, I'm really stuffed up here. I'm kind of getting over a sickness. So I do apologize for all the coughing. Now I'm going to go ahead here and go on to part 32. Part 32 has been very similar to some of the other stuff we've seen. Uh, again, we're gonna bend one side over here and then we're just gonna bring it down. Just like this. Okay, we're following that edge. And then we get to a point where they should line up. And now we're gonna bend that one half back. There we go. One side in. Now we get the other side here. Okay, I am really trying here. I'm about to put my concentration face on, but I didn't need it. As I was about to, I didn't do it. Another vent or porthole of some kind. Some piece of detail that I do not know the name of is finally completed and now we can place it on to our Titanic. Let's see here, where's this guy go? This one goes towards the back, just like a daze. And does it point towards the back? It does. So the curved piece that we kind of formed there. Now again, uh, these tabs are super close to each other. So just an FYI, I really recommend when you're doing this. What the heck is that? Wow. Okay, there's a small tab hole actually between those. That's super interesting. We're hitting the 20 minute mark on my uh, camera here. So we're going to stop. I only like to do more than 20 minutes increments on my camera at a time. And the reason for that is for editing purposes. Kind of gives me a break. Um, Cause out of a 15 minute or a 30 minute video, I will probably only use about 10 minutes of the actual video. There we go. Excellent. Those little vent details are now 
installed. Look at that. Hasn't that come a long way? We've come a very long way, my guys. All right. Now with this complete, we get to work on the lower deck portions here. So let's grab some of that. The first piece we're dealing with gets bent into a square or a little bit of an open square, if you will. Lack of deeds. There we go, just like that. With this piece, it actually should, it says engraved, but really it's the painted side. That's the thing to keep in mind here when it comes to engraved versus not engraved. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. There we go. Grab our giant piece here, and now we're attaching this to the lower half. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm actually going to push that down because it looks better flat. There we go. I think that shouldn't get in the way of anything later either. It should be okay. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Now that we have this in place, we need to add on parts 35 and 36. 35 and 36 look a little wild, so uh, don't be surprised if it... Uh, looks a little bit weird that's what it looks like whoa look at that wild all right first things first the back here on the bottom gets bent like this make sure i'm good on camera here too yep we're almost at 30 minute mark though i really need to stop the camera and redo it again just like these just like these like that and like that Cool. All right. There we go. That's it. That's kind of a crazy piece, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. Looks a little bit weird, but there we go. I'm going to just focus on my uh, camera there. There we go. All right. And now with that done here, we can take this and place this on the top. That's the engraved side, yes? Yes, okay. And now this gets placed. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, this here goes like. I feel like I missed something. What did I miss? Oh, I did miss something. I'm a silly goose. Holy crap, I missed one of the biggest pieces. That's why I'm so confused, my guys. Look, I forgot to add this on. I'm I'm all over the place. You know, anytime you guys want to say something in the in the comments, be like, hey, you know, disorderly cone, you, you missed something there. You just you just tell me. I'll show you where I actually messed up. So right here at the beginning, that's where I missed. Right there. That's it. So we're gonna fix this right now. And we're gonna take our uh, pieces here, and we can actually see on the top here it has one and two. So we're gonna put our one and two in here. Let's grab our first one, and this guy is going, let's make sure we got the proper orientation here so we don't go the wrong way. You see, as I think about this primitive technology stuff here, I am in the year 2023. Very dense timeline, to be totally honest with you, but I do enjoy it. So many things to do and so many things to come. So much potential, too. What is going on here? Holy sh nine again. That is not easy. Okay, here we go. Now we got these guys in place. Let's secure them. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and uh, kind of building with me. You know, normally I have some music going on and some stuff like that, but today I really just kind of wanted to hang out with some people and kind of show you guys what I'm into and, you know, maybe introduce some people to some new art that they've never even heard of before, which I think is also a really cool thing. So think about TikTok. You never know what you're going to run into that next swipe. You never know what the next thing's going to be, even on YouTube or anything like that with all this new shorts content. I know myself as somebody who's been uh, doing this building content now for some quite some time, like I said earlier, uh, the way that the world has changed when it comes to content is so interesting. 
So um, you're always kind of playing a game of what to do next. And shorts have really taken over. Live content's kind of getting the way there, but it's also trying to understand about how to make this kind of content interesting for people to watch. You know, the most I've ever gotten on a live stream was like 400 people. And uh, in terms of like continuous at one time uh, for 3D metal models. Um, so something to think about that. Like I said, it's a very cool niche. Not very many people are super into it though. So it's one of those things you have to kind of like, we're, we're the ones building it. This is neat. Okay, now that we have those in place, we can put this guy on. Where's the other ones? All at the top here, okay. So we did actually get access to the majority of them. I hope I haven't been like open mouth uh, concentrating too much on you guys. There we go, looking sweet. Look at that, that looks awesome. That is freaking cool, man. Look at that, that is cool. All right, uh, now that we got that little guy in there and we understand what's going on, we can come back to this, putting this little front bit in here, which was uh, kind of misleading and not really understanding what was going on there. But now we understand because we uh, got the part where it needs to go. So we can uh, work everything in place there. All right, make sure. We are good. Is there any other tabs that get inserted? I don't think so, Sunshine. I think we are good to go. Maybe we will get this front on before my camera or before my iPad dies. Look at that, my dudes. Yes. Okay, now what about this tab? Does it get bent now? It gets bent. Like it is. Okay. And then these tabs get inserted like it is. Ooh, I like it a lot, guys. This is coming along. We did a really good job forming that front. That part that I was really uncertain about, we actually did a really good job on that, guys. We did a good job. That was a that was our tricky one to do, and um, we did it pretty flawlessly. So, I'm I'm proud of you. Okay, there we go. Excellent, excellent. The Titanic is coming along. Look at that, man, that is so cool. We've done this all together today, guys. This is such a neat little thing. Again, my battery's gonna most likely die, so if my live stream ends, you know why. Um, now that we got that in place, we get to work a little bit more on some different details that we really haven't worked on before, some smaller details. So let's bring off our main part here. This is what it looks like right here. And uh, now what we're gonna do is make what look like benches almost. These pieces are really tiny. You gotta be careful not to have them fling around your room. These are super, super tiny. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is bend down the sides. And then I'm going to reference this image over here again. Yeah, they get bent up like a bench. So they must be benches. Okay. And there we go, our first bench. Be careful of big buckets. And these benches. Okay, so if I have this properly orientated, we get uh, the first bench goes right here. And now we're going to secure. There we go, our first bench. Doesn't that look great? Our first little bench. Oh, so cute. Bend down. Another bench complete. We're just not responsible for anything that might take place on the, you know, time continuum. Here we go! Flag time! The flag goes towards the front. Flag in place. Okie dokie. And now, Are we gonna be putting anything in these though? Because if we're gonna be putting anything in these circular pieces, it's not a good idea to actually uh, close them up or attach them. Wow, 
When it comes to bending circular pieces, you can actually use multiple different methods. The method I'm using right now is just using multiple bends to achieve the actual circular shaping. You can use dapping punches, dapping sets. You can even use the tab bending tool that we have here, kind of insert it in the middle and walk it around a little bit like that. And you can get a really nice shaping, but just keep in mind, no matter what you choose to do, it's important to ensure that all the sides meet. And if they don't, something is wrong. Ah, yes, so they do have some details that go into it, and I thought they would, and it wouldn't make much sense for those holes to be there and then nothing to be going into those places. So with this particular set, it looks like I need to grab this set here, push it back a little bit like that. There we go. I'm going right to the edge here and just kind of putting a lot of pressure on the, on the back end. There we go. Again, if my camera guys dies, it's because the battery dies, not because of, you know, anything bad happening. No, the, the, the time monster did not reach into the live stream, grab me and throw me into the void. Has happened once. There we go. Okay, now that we have this here, we can uh, attach this on. Like a little crane of some kind, like that. Okay, there we go. Bend those guys. And there we have it. Our first four pages all complete. I mean, just look at all the detail we've done here. I really do like the way our stacks look. Now we need more parts. 